Hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. Hello everyone, welcome back to Facebook. Phone rings always the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions. We have a box! Uh, super, this is Supervisor's box. Yeah, we kind of... Yeah. We intercepted Supervisor and we're gonna try and unbox this before he comes back. He's kind of banging on the door right now, he, but... Yeah, he, well, actually, he intercepted my package and we intercepted his package. Yeah, but... After in, he intercepted our package. In his eyes, that's, that's not... That's not... Also, why is the tape so thick here? You open it, it's your glass. Yeah, phase is here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am I am real. This is not like a green screen trick or anything. No, we're actually here and we're going to be unboxing... Well, you guys read the title, it's a worker swordfish, but... Correct. I've never seen one of these before. I've never seen any videos on one either. Like, I don't... I only know, like, what it looks like from pictures. And... Oh my gosh. What are you doing, bro? What don't ever, do don't ever cut towards yourself with a knife. Yeah, I don't ever do that. But like, don't do anything we do in this video, please. I mean, what you guys could do though is you guys can like, subscribe, comment, uh, turn on post notifications. So oh you guys my never gosh! Miss video. No. You guys do that. You know, we're, we're we bad, haven't but. even started the review yet. And your point is? Okay, that's a, that's not important. Out of dart sticker. Yeah. Oh, that's that is... that's order forms. That's not important. Actually. Nah. And that's... then we've got. So, a lot of stuff. Okay, wow. first off, if you guys don't know what Project Freelancer was, uh, this is made by the same guy. Different filament this time, instead of uh, uh, black, it is now white, which is cool. I love it. Uh, thank you, Al, for building this. This is an amazing thing to have. So, yeah, very awesome guy, very great guy to work with. Uh, in the box, let's start with Ben. Uh, he shipped this. Uh, oh, I can see it. It already yeah, has a vector kit on it. Has a vector kit on it. Really nice blaster. This is running a uh, worker slash containment crew setup. There's other stuff here, but we're going to start off with the blaster, obviously. Holy lord, it's it's a big blaster. It's a pretty deep up then. Ooh, it's heavy. Again, another one that is then able to be attached to like string or paracord or whatever you want to do and swing it on the oh, blaster. Oh, that's a good grip. That's so, a really good grip. Oh my gosh. Tesra made a video kind of, kind of, I'm going to be with you and I'm going to call you all on camera here. Kind of trashed the stripe a little bit. Just a little bit. We all know you trashed it a little bit. I just don't like it. I just don't so this, so if you guys don't know what the, the swordfish is, the swordfish is Basically what the stripe. stripe is. So the swordfish is to the stripe as the prophecy, which is the retaliator knockoff from worker, is the retaliator to uh, no, the that ain't true. That ain't true. This is, this is the guy she told the stripe not to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is running a containment crew, um, containment crew wheels, they're called the cyclone wheels. This is running a worker stock crush cage, and it is running it's an empty box. 16 uh, gauge wiring. So, funny story here for you, when I bought the wiring, I thought I was buying like 25 inches, I bought 25 feet worth of wire. So there's like a lot of extra stuff. Um, I told him to keep the wiring because you know, kind of thing. But anyway, that's just a funny story here. That was um, that was funny. There are no sights for us. I didn't bring any sights to actually work with this, sadly. I just couldn't. Screws. Um, Lubricant. There's a box full of pieces. I don't know if you want to go over this stuff. Uh, no, we'll go over that later. Uh, going back to the stock, you have the swing point, which this actually screws into the stock. So this is to the stock. You can still take the stock yeah. off, but this is now on the stock and you can swing it. Um, the worker stock, actually, this is a really nice stock. I really love this I stock. I really want to buy one of those because it's like... Uh, very adjustable. It's a PDW stock. Wow. Uh, that's as far as it goes out, but that's that is really comfy. Oh, it's solid. Oh, it is comfy. Holy thing. That is a really solid stock. It's a bit too short. Nah, it's not that, that So that kind of depends on your profile. Well, me, yeah. I mean, me and you have probably about this, the same body, so. this, this feels like heaven. But that is, is not, cool. that is average length. Um, and that is like a super good grip. I was not expecting the grip to be so comfortable. Okay, so that locks, that's the, that's the final lock in place. So yeah. it doesn't lock any further back, but that feels good. Um, Magwell, this blaster has been worked. Uh, the, Flywheels have been seasoned with 700 darts, which means that the flywheels have been uh, gunked up. Basically and, warped through so it'll get better grip on the actual darts. Exactly. He didn't know that until I told him about it. Yeah. Uh, running a 21 amp micro switch. This is actually has a, uh, a mounting plate that has been 3D printed for this grip. 
Yeah. I love this vector kit. This is it's so cool. Really nice. It's like such a good foregrip. And then may, the ergo here is fantastic. I mean, obviously, if you were, if anybody watching were to actually get a swordfish, you would get the basic shell and then purchase all the upgrades separately. So when you get one of these, it's not going to be the same as this one unless you were to put the same amount of things in it. But with that said, exactly. I'm going to do a full review on this as it is here. I'm glad. In the same way. Exactly. Um, if you buy one of these, if, if you're a hardcore modder and you go to get a stripe, Chances are you're pretty much taking out basically all the internals. This is just comes as a shell. You get the firing mech, you get the trigger, then you get the rev trigger. Um, this is now being wired up to a 2S LiPo battery, uh, which purchasing a LiPo is a huge deal. Do research before you do it. I plan on doing a video all about LiPos and I might actually make it and upload it before I make and upload this video. Um, feels great, love it. Love the proportions of it. Feels like a vector. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I have to install the extra barrel on there and then the flash hider, which is not a big deal. I'm not terribly worried about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great blaster and I'm glad to have this in my arsenal. I, I can't wait to fire this thing up and put some darts through it. Obviously, I have to do a lot more testing with it, but. But first, we got a, we got a lipo and we got a testing procedure to go through. So exactly. why don't we cut to that, shall we? reviewing a worker swordfish not the worker swordfish a worker swordfish because really quickly this blaster is not something that you can just buy when you get a worker swordfish it is this clear shell right here and then everything else including the flywheels the motors the external operation like all of this stuff you'd have to get externally so this isn't a review of the worker swordfish blaster itself just this particular build of it with that said this thing is super freaking cool so i had to do a review on it anyways one quick disclaimer though, this is not my swordfish. This swordfish belongs to Phase 1 Foam. I'm only using it because he's here for the week and we had it shipped here. So with that said, let's just get started with the design. Holy crap. Holy dingus. Even without this Chris Vector kit that you could get from Worker, the Swordfish Blaster itself looks absolutely amazing. Even though most of the details you can't really see because of the clear shell, it is a very nice version of the Strife. And it's actually a little bit bigger than the Strife as well. They're roughly the same size, but the Swordfish feels thicker. It feels more solid. There's not as much dead space as the Strife has. You can really tell how large of a blaster this is when you actually hold it. And it is. It's pretty big and pretty chunky. And I think that all of the attachments that have gone with this particular build do it justice. Like this brass looking orange tip and this big stock on the back which matches the color scheme of the whole blaster. The clear and transparent blue color scheme just fits so wonderfully together. I can't get over how cool this thing looks. Though at the same time, the shell actually has all the same annoyances that the Strife does, primarily the fact that it isn't symmetrical. Though this time it's made by a competent company that remembered to make the other side thick enough to where you can actually mount stocks and barrels on it effectively and there's no wobble to them whatsoever. Thank you, worker! You're actually competent! Unlike some companies. Really though, that takes care of the whole problem I had with the Strife shell. I didn't like the fact that it was so flat on the left side that you couldn't mount barrels or stocks on it. This one's asymmetrical, so OCD is still kind of annoying, but it fixes the actual problem and makes it usable, which is wonderful. Let's get on to the ergonomics. Only the main grip really counts, though I am going to be including the, the built-in foregrip and the stock because it was made with this particular build. This grip. Holy lord, you see that kind of scale pattern right there? It feels real good. It's very simplistic and very solid and flat, but that just does it justice. It's a very nice grip, especially with the Chris Vector foregrip, which is like one of the comfiest attachments that you can put on any stripe, and this stock, which now I desperately want one myself because it is just so good. It's not the most stable, but good lord, does it work effectively. It's solid when you try to use it, and it's adjustable, and it looks great, and it matches as any blaster that you put it on it's just oh it's a good stock it's got a hexagon pattern on the back and it's just like it's so smooth it's so nice the ergo on this feels like it was designed for this but how does this blaster work well it's a semi-auto flywheeler just like the strife you take a magazine you shove it into the chris vector kit which actually just funnels it right into the magwell you rev and it's semi-auto and it also revs up insanely fast because 
It's using a 2S LiPo. I want to do a whole video about LiPos and why they're super annoying, but also super good for Nerf Blasters. But basically, yeah, that's it. And it also has a paddle mag release, which is a million times better than the Stripes mag release, which makes taking the mag out and loading it a breeze. Honestly, this magwell is like a million times better than the Stripes. I could do this all day long, every single day, all hours of the day. It's just so wonderful. The actual triggers on this blaster are leagues better than anything the Stripe could do, especially without any mods. This main trigger is just so buttery smooth. There's no like grittiness to it at all. Same goes with the rev trigger, even though it kind of gets rid of that satisfying click that the Stripes rev trigger does where it just disappears into the shell. It does kind of disappear a little bit, but I don't think it's as good as the Stripes rev trigger. The main trigger makes up for it though. This main trigger is real good. And with that said, let's get on to the firing demo. Please try to ignore the mess in this room. We're trying to take care of it. It is so good. Solo Worker Swordfish, a blaster that you have to get custom built and most likely will exceed the price of $300 for any build that you make if you want it to actually be competent. I'm madly in love with it, and that's terrifying because now I have to build one. I have to, I, I have to have one of these. There's no way that I can't not have one of these after I've gotten to use it. This is legitimately the funnest flywheeler I've gotten my hands on ever. It is as fun as the Worker Harrier just because of the sheer smoothness of operation and the ergo and the size and the, the way that it works and the fact that it works so well and the snappy triggers and just like everything about this blaster was done well. Absolutely everything about this whole blaster was done well. The Chris Vector kit does it justice. All of the appearance and design details do it justice. The internals that were chosen for it do it justice. And honestly, I think this blaster was worth every single penny that was spent on the build. While linking all of the included attachments and details and things that were put onto this blaster would be pretty unrealistic, I will link the actual blaster shell itself, as well as the blue Chris Vector kit, because, I mean, come on, this, this looks Per this looks perfect. I'll also link the stock because, again, perfection. This shell is perfection. I can't find any complaints with it. I love the shell in every single way. So with that said, that's pretty much all I have to say. This blaster is amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye!